Hello everyone. Today we are going to learn about cross site request forgery. Cross site request forgery is an attack against web hosted applications whereby a malicious website can influence the interaction between a client browser and a website trusted by the browser. This attack are made possible because web browser will send authentication token automatically with every request to a website. Because uh, it's happening once you are opening open a, any websites, so web browser is always sending that authentication token to that server. Then that that's why because of that server is recognize you. And same times uh, it will return to that browser also. Uh, it's uh, always once you are making that any request, so that uh, that times browser is by default it's sending that authenticated token to the server. So let's first we will check that one. What is actually cross site request forgery? Just open the Visual Studio 2015. Just create a new project. Select MVC. Click OK. Select empty MVC. And click OK. First, we will check that what actually is that cross site request forgery and how attacker hacker will attack to your website. We'll check with a simple example. Just right click on the model, add one class, add a model class that will be that account model. And here it will be the true field. That uh, first it will be the account number or make a string because account number should be string. And another will be the amount. You can label type and transfer amount. Okay. Now we'll create one controller that will be name that home controller. Just empty home controller. Uh, this one will be the HTTP get okay. so we will call that one that account model and we will return to that view this fix that level. or one will be the HTTP post so here you are posting that uh, account number and amount to transfer what means like a if you want to transfer that amount to another account that index account model OBG model this will make a simple here only you need to check that return view simple and right click and add view it in this view so first of all here it will become model then fully qualified name dot account model now here we are using using statement then html dot begin form then index and uh, controller name then form method dot post Now HTML dot label for model 
model dot first it will be a count number we can take point and second will be the text box four and next one that next one for that amount transfer amount now we'll make a button here that button transfer transfer amount Now run the application because here I have added that one text box for for account number, another for transfer amount. Just and just run the application and we'll check. We'll make a breakpoint here. This one. So here is the account number and transfer amount. Just enter that one amount. Now you are getting that one. This one. Okay. So what actually hacker will do? Hacker will just go to the view page source. Just they have that code and they will copy this one only. That form tag, and you will, will create one tag. So in the form form action method, you will write that one, that URL. So just you will enter that URL. Just this code is like that, and he will make that all those fields will be hidden. This this one will be hidden. Hidden. That one more level is that that will be also he will make it hidden. Only input type that will that uh, button he will leave that button only hidden. And the transfer instead of transfer amount, you will write like a jackpot price. And uh, so input field value you will enter that one. Just in this one is that transfer amount. Okay, so you will enter that amount amount like a fifty thousand. And one more you will change that. That is a account number. So value you will change that one. You will enter that is account number seven eight nine zero. And just save it with that like a hacker dot html. Minimize that one and open this. You will you will get that one jackpot price. Once you will already log in, so and you will get that or any message or something pop up and like this. So you will be very curious to uh, click this one. So what you will do, you will just click that one. So you will get a look from here. But you have enter something different. This is your actual website. So you enter here one two three four five, and amount is that like a five thousand. But what? You get same times you get a pop up and you will enter that one jackpot price. So what will happen? That just now it's here. Now you are getting that one that hacker account number and that amount seven eight nine zero and five thousand. Just see that one seven eight nine zero five zero. But you have entered that one two three four five. But once you click that one jackpot price, you are transferring that uh, amount to hacker account. Hacker account that seven eight nine zero, but so you have you have to transfer to one two three four five, but you are transferring to because of you click that one, then you are transferring that amount to that 
another account number. So how you can resolve this ones? You have to just just close that one. and go to the index and here only you have to write like that one html dot html dot anti frosted token same you have to write here also valid anti project token now run that application one more time in the both that one that index also that view also you have written that anti project token and that controller also you have written that will valid for your token now now just enter that 1 2 3 4 5 an amount like a 5000 but same times open that one that uh, jackpot one the jackpot price once you will click that jackpot price let's see what will happen you are getting that message the required entry for the form field requested for is not present because in this one that uh, hacker one it's not that present that one that uh, verification token and uh, if you are doing this one the transfer amount now it will be go inside and so you will make a breakpoint here and click ok transfer amount now you are getting that one so why that hacker is getting this message because this times because every previously it was uh, uh, browser is passing that authentication key cookies but now once you added that entry fraud token that entry fraud token that times that uh, a uh, client is passing two different types of uh, token one is one is that authentication cookies and one is that request verification token so but that verification token that uh, hacker don't have that one because always uh, once you are trying to use that one always it will be change that request verification token so that uh, hacker will not get and he will get that this message once you will click this this one jackpot price only you need to add this one this to valid anti project token here both side that by index also that one i hope it's a clear thanks for watching i please don't forget to subscribe